fellow force users and fellow superheroes what is up it's jasmine the ahsoka channel fan and welcome back to my youtube channel so it's time for another episode of loki which debuted last week the first episode was off to a great start it showed us a lot uh, we got introduced to the tva we saw loki in a very vulnerable position and that's kind of in more than one way we're seeing him in an environment where his powers don't work um, or it seems like an environment where no powers work because the infinity stones um, were pretty much meaningless but we're seeing that vulnerable side to him we saw the vulnerable side to him when he saw his mother's uh, death as well as his own death which kind of makes me wonder this uh, variant that is supposed to be loki that mobius mentions is it this loki somehow reacting to what he's seen including his death and then he becomes rogue later on there's still a lot more that's going on with that i think than you know what we're actually being told and mobius himself kind of seems a little bit of um a mysterious individual and this is something that i i realized after uh re-watching the episode which was uh mobius if you google it it refers to this infinite loop that has kind of one side and kind of just turns on itself. It's kind of like an optical illusion, so to speak. And it kind of makes you wonder, hmm, you know, how does that relate to Mobius the character? It just seems perfectly fitting for Mobius and for a show that deals with multiple timelines or universes. So yeah, I think there's lots going on to Mobius and Loki. Mobius is obviously gonna try and use Loki um, to help him track down this variant or at least that's what we know so far who knows what his other plans are for loki and this is something i had actually seen in another video a friend of mine a uh, jedi jazz video and one thing his sister mentioned was that in the last episode they talked about loki being the king of space and she was talking about well what if loki ends up being more than the king of space and having um, more control such as with the tva and it just got me thinking that would be huge if by the end of all this Loki ends up controlling the TVA and having control of the timeline because that would essentially give him access to all times and all universes and he would have the most power ever. As we saw from the first episode, we see Loki coming, getting into a position where he's physically falling down these levels, which to me kind of symbolized He's kind of getting into a worse and worse situation, but also getting closer to that deep, dark secret that's kind of, you know, um, going on at the bottom of all of this. And once he uncovers that and figures out a way out of this, you know, he, the end result might be he ends up controlling the TVA or something to that effect. Either that or he's going to, he's going to find out some dark secret um, he kind of already has with, you know, him witnessing his own death and whatnot, but there's something else going on in the story here um, that they're definitely hinting at. And speaking of the TVA, one of the things I did question from the last episode was where exactly is it? Um, and some of you pointed out that it doesn't really exist anywhere. It just kind of, um, or it kind of exists in this space that exists outside of normal time and space. I guess maybe you can look at it like a black hole or something. That pretty much makes sense and explains why they're able to quickly get around and, and go through time and go to different realities and universes. And it should be interesting to see if they address that at all in this series. There's a lot of uh, symbolism about time and perspective. We even saw that first opening shot with the insect crawling upside down in the drop of water. Um, not only is the insect upside down, but it also looks very big in that drop of water and then it's not until the camera zooms out that you see the bug is right side up and very small. Everything is a matter of perspective and also shows how small that bug is in that big grand uh, desert, right? Which is kind of symbolic of Loki. He sees himself as this god and all-powerful being, but then once he encounters a TVA, he realizes quickly just how small he is in comparison to the rest of the universe. Um, or the rest of the universes, I should say. We also see a lack of green in um, the past episode, which to me kind of symbolizes the fact that Loki, since green is his key color, he maybe has kind of lost himself a bit, lost his soul and has to regain that back. And I wouldn't be surprised if as over the course of the episodes, we see Loki find himself more and discover more things we might actually see um, the use of the color green a little bit more and more. That's my prediction anyway. And some of you guys also wonder too if um, Lady Loki might make an appearance. That's a possibility as well. I remember now from the trailer, because I, I did rewatch it since the first episode, there is a, a woman, it looks like, in some type of um, alternate 
reality or wherever and they're surrounded by the color purple which is the same color as the power stone and so at first I thought it was potentially Black Widow might be um, coming back somehow or being brought back some people also think that could have been Lady Loki so it's very possible that maybe she will make an appearance this would definitely be the TV show to bring her in so yeah there's so much uh, speculation we could do here and so many possibilities but that's just a quick recap of the last episode and a couple predictions as to this episode and uh, what's gonna happen beyond this episode I do see that the title is called the variants uh, which is a very suggesting title I don't know if maybe in this episode we're gonna dive a little bit more into this rogue variant that they kept talking about um, and in the last episode I don't expect that we'll find out who exactly it is until the end I know Mobius says it's Loki but what if there's more to it than that what if it's not really Loki I don't know if they'll give us all the answers to that until close to the end of the series because it kind of seems like something that is gonna be a lingering mystery um, all throughout right so yeah, anything is possible, I suppose. I could speculate for hours. I'm Caribbean, so I talk a lot. <laughs> uh, let's not speculate too much. I'm just ready to dive in. I've had a long day at work and I just need me some low key. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's get this video rolling and let's see what's in store for us and dive in. Oh yeah. That candy, I wonder what the significance is of that. Are they gonna play my Marvel theme now? We'll see. Yes! They played it! Check my intro, it's the same theme song. I can be a conductor, eh? I get way too excited for music. Okay. This already sounds like it takes place a long time ago. Let's see. What oh, doesn't say a year? Oh, wait, it's coming. Oh, 1985. Okay, so I guess it's just like a festival from, from those days, but it doesn't actually take place. I thought it was taking place in the 1800s or something. They just go wherever they want to, eh? Hmm. Now, is this the variant like the top the rogue variant or just another variant no nexus energy that definitely suggests so this is loki as far as we know loki oh green he just messed with her mind is he gonna have her kill the other the others <gasps> That's pretty dark, even for Loki. That's why I'm wondering if it is Loki, for real. Did he just go into the guy's body now? Ooh. Is that really Loki, man? Well, mind you, I say it's dark for Loki, but he has done pretty messed up shit in the past. He's going through the portal? Whoa. So how is that gonna work? Okay, y'all. Let's review what we learned. It's the same girl from the cartoon, right? Very bad things. Come on, Loki. Oh. What is it? <gasps> this is like Black Mirror or something. Hey, where's your man? <laughs> Loki would try and do that. Okay, so he actually wants to bring Loki with him. I don't know, if I were Loki, I wouldn't want to help them. Want me to help you track down myself? No. <laughs> Loki's great. Damn, ouch, that hurts. Oh shit, it is him. Oh! Oh, look at that, Loki. <laughs> you tell him, Loki. <laughs> the girl looks so confused. <laughs> no, 
not supposed to tell them you might betray them, Loki. Just betray them. Real time. Did you watch any betraying videos you were supposed to? Ah, uh, interesting. I feel like that should have made sense what he just said, Mobius, but it didn't really. What does prune mean? Have they addressed that? Wait. He notices something that they missed. It needs to be addressed. It's about Damn, that's deep. I can't tell if he's helping them or if he's trying to stall them, you know? <laughs> she wasn't emotionally moved. What would he have to say? I can't tell if he's telling the truth or if he's trying to stall them for some ulterior motive. He's fucking with them. But I'm not mad about it. That's kind of what I want him to do. Damn, what if he is... What if he's right, though? If they walk out right now and get killed. Oh, that's what they do. They reset the timeline every time they do that. And it's purple. Just like the Power Stone and Agatha's magic. <laughs> These people almost kind of bother me. They're so obsessed with preserving the timeline, but they have no problem messing with it and manipulating it themselves. It's kind of almost hypocritical. Who's to say they're not variants? So it says that that girl is missing in action, but they reset the timeline. So shouldn't she not be missing in action? Unless I'm reading that wrong. Those are the timekeepers, right? Yeah. All the women are running shit here, eh? You don't think I'd love having that boy? Just like Loki. <laughs> he didn't put it in the holder. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a holder, but it's rings. <laughs> What's it supposed to mean that he's had many meetings with her? <laughs> Don't talk about Loki that way. So she's the only one that's met them? It's so important why the timekeepers just deal with it themselves. <laughs> He's left-handed. Franklin Roosevelt? <laughs> Loki. Aww. Why is he being so rude? Being a hero? That's bullshit, man. Working for the TVA is not a hero, a hero type job. Quite the opposite. Don't tell them that. Right, we talked about that, guys. Seizing control of the TVA. Man, everyone's really dumping on him, man. Treating him like a pet. So mean. Look how many floors there are. Shit. <laughs> he said trick, but I feel like his life really does depend on it. Who's that lady in the back? Someone random or someone important? Oh, she just a Karen or? <laughs> Loki would do that back. I love how he's still kind of a kid, you know? Listen, I love me some female representation, don't get me wrong, but do any men work here besides Mobius? I'm kidding, I know there's some men. There's a lot of females. <laughs> See, what's so tricky about Loki and Mobius' relationship is you can't tell who is, who is fooling who, who's toying with who, who is ahead of who, you know? Now, did that say he had just two files that he's allowed access to? Destruction of Asgard. Oh, it brings back memories. Annihilate. Wow. So sad. Zero variants energy detected. Oh, so they went there to Asgard looking for the variant? So eventually, a new timeline branches. Yes? Chaotic. It's a pretty great description. <laughs> oh, he's gonna destroy his lungs. I could go down to Asgard. Whatever I wanted. And it would never matter. It wouldn't go against the timeline. Because it's gonna be one salty salad. Casey. Because Ragnarok. 
You can just like dump it in there. Oh! He, could, he loved how you just. I love how you could have just explained to him, but he had to do so while also destroying his mind. Oh, he looks so excited. Everything could go wrong. <laughs> huh. See, he what he says makes sense. Oh, Pompeii. This is when the volcano erupted. Wow. Cause what he said makes a lot of sense. Um, we could still tell he's got his own agenda. It's kind of cool. <gasps> Don't say it too loud, Loki. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, oh my god. Oh. He told him that? Oh my god. But this is kind of cool. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. I don't know whether to laugh or not because this is a real event in history that was so sad. Oh my gosh, Loki. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. Okay, now you gotta leave, guys. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where are they right now? I feel like the wallpaper looks so... Oh, okay. I couldn't tell where they were, you know? Intentional, perhaps? We've got a little green in the color scheme, guys. The chairs. Maybe I'm onto something. Uh, uh, right? <laughs> Whoa, that was deep. Existence is chaos. My own glorious purpose. That was the name of the last episode. Is he thinking of something right now, Mobius? Very clever. Yeah, Loki just gave him an idea. <laughs> that was a deep conversation. Yep. Blueberry. <laughs> what? Huh. You want me to approve the foreman? There's not much I can do if it doesn't work out. For all time. Hmm, what did you mean by that? He's funny, the episode's called the variant. We don't really know which variant they're referring to. This Loki or the other variant? What is Loki up to? Absolutely not. Ah, oh, such a cock blocker. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh jeez. They're all looking at him. Give my man a weapon, man. Like if it weren't for him, you wouldn't even know to go there. Ooh. Shoot, I feel like I should have looked closer at that sign. Maybe there was some type of Easter egg clue there. Hmm. The hologram was like in a loop. Like a time loop? Perfectly fitting for this. Oh. <laughs> you can't trust me. I understand. You can't trust me. No, Loki's planning something. That's so true. Who's watching them? He is there, the variant. That's what's so messed up about it because if that variant is Loki. Well, does that mean, was it a bomb? Shoot. Does that mean that Loki kind of knows what the, our Loki is thinking? And if that's the case, he could just set a trap for them. And our Loki would know that. So he could be leading them into a trap. It's really one great big mind. That could be Loki in disguise. Mm -mm. That was him. So is she gonna fight Loki now? Hey, you notice there's more green guys, right? The color green. The plants in the backpack. 
You're the fool the TVA brought into hunt. He knows. Me, I presume. <laughs> I love that they both you. smile at each other. Girl. Being so mean. For peaceful people, they seem like. People are scared. They seem the complete opposite. No. Are they gonna find the black girl unconscious? Or is that the missing girl? <gasps> yeah. That's the missing girl from the beginning. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna faint now. Now they're gonna think it's this Loki that did that. They should team up, both Lokis. Are we gonna get to see both Lokis? Mm-hmm. Mention this at the beginning of the video. What does he want to be called? Okay. No, sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> What are you interested in? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's what's hooked up to the bomb. And wait, what? He was controlling that guy, but he's also in his body was there. Like there's like multiple Lokis there working together. I gave it away how to find it. Mm -mm. Does that say telesteps in the background? See lots and lots of green. Yeah, like, like Loki, rogue Loki has taken control of this guy, and he's actually somewhere else, setting up the bomb. That's your plan. That's a time reset, though. I miss Randy. Oh. He has the force too. Is it possible the variant is Lady Loki, maybe? I get the impression that it's not exactly Loki. Looks like your favorite Loki betrayed you. Just move. Yeah, anyway, they're gonna blame this Loki. Vitamix, small appliances, small systems, machinery. What is this about? Loki's being pissed now. Brace yourself, Loki. <laughs> On the recording? <gasps> that kind of looks like a woman. I don't know. Like the petite frame. <gasps> this isn't about you. It is Lady Loki. Right? Uh -huh. So why did Mobius say it's him? Like, did he really know who the variant was? Was he guessing it was him or? Did he mean him in kind of like a poetic sense? Because she's like a um, a duplicate of him, kind of? Maybe her plan? Ooh. She's taking all of them. Where are they going? I guess her plan was to lure that Loki there. And then through in doing that, that would make the her plan possible. Wow. You guys are right. I didn't expect it so soon though, like for her to be in it. I didn't think initially that she might actually be the variant. The thought only occurred to me like 15 minutes ago maybe? Whoa. Okay. Now we're seeing red, it's no longer green. So what is her plan exactly? Is she gonna bring all the different variants of Loki there or something? She's leaving it open. Loki, go through! Go through! Run! Go, 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 go! Go, Loki, come on! Yes! Yes! I don't know what I'm cheering for, but... Yes! Oh, that's it. It's done. <laughs> I just wanted my guy to be free. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I just want to make sure there's no end credit scene. As I told you guys, part of my desk kind of blocks my TV, so I'm sorry. Having to lean forward. 
Okay, wow. So that was quite the reveal. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I know that, that some of you guys mentioned that Lady Loki might make an appearance, but it never occurred to me that she could be the actual rogue variant until, I, I don't know if it was 20 minutes ago or, or so, where I mentioned it during my reaction. You guys are gonna have to help me out with the comics because I'm not, again, super comic savvy. So I'm not sure everything that happens in the comics with Lady Loki. Maybe he's, she's gonna bring him to different universes, um, different points in the timeline to maybe teach him more about himself. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen there. She made it clear she does not wanna work with the TVA or, or control the TVA rather and we saw her take all the time canister thingies I don't know I forget what they're called sorry we saw her you know take them at the end there and put them in different timelines that look like and she was resetting a bunch of them causing like you know basically chaos um, which is ironic because as Mobius said everything is chaos right it's not really clear what her intentions are but I think that she wants to work with Loki, she's definitely going to be creating some type of multiverse event, kind of like what they talked about during that animation um, in the last episode. And if she does, that would be a perfect tie-in to Doctor Strange, which I believe it's called, the next one's called Multiverse Madness or something like that. Um, and we have had numerous references to um, Nexus, right, Nexus events. Uh, which are, you know, these big chaotic disastrous events, Nexus beings who have the ability to manipulate realities, so to speak. Wanda is one of these beings, Loki is one of these beings, and now it looks like she's creating a Nexus event, which is exactly what the TVA has been trying to avoid. And also, I can't tell if one of her horns was missing, her left horn. If so, I don't know what the significance of that is. Did she lose it in a battle or something? Are we going to see what happened with that? Is it related to Loki somehow? Or was it just hiding behind her hair? <laughs> you never know if you're looking too deeply into these things. It's definitely that kind of show where you have to keep your eyes peeled for clues. Anywhere and everywhere. And nowhere. And even the title is called The Variant. I think I might have mentioned this in my reaction as well. I can't remember. I blurred out a lot of things during my reaction, as you guys know by now. But by the title The Variant, you're not really sure who they're referring to. It could be the rogue variant, who we now know is uh, Lady Loki, or it could also be referring to our Loki, the variant, as you saw on his jacket. It literally said the words, the variant. Let's talk a little bit about Mobius and Loki. There's one thing Mobius said that's kind of interesting during the episode that kind of stuck with me. He's talking about how everything is chaos and nothing really makes sense, so we try and make sense of it. it makes it so ironic because you have the TVA that's that's trying to make sense of everything and trying to apply order to something that is chaotic, which is, kind of seems contradictory. And furthermore, if, if everything's chaotic and nothing makes sense, then who's to say that the TVA is even in the right here? If nothing makes sense, if everything is kind of confusing, then how do you know what does make sense, right? You can't really know what doesn't make sense unless you hold it up against something that does make sense. I don't know, it, it's kind of like one great big mindfuck. Um, and it actually kind of relates ironically to the Mobius loop, which is kind of, you know, the loop that has only one side. It's kind of like an illusion and keeps kind of going, you know, over like in itself. Mobius and Loki might actually be more alike than they think. You can almost look at their relationship as kind of like one big Mobius loop because it kind of goes back and forth um, and you never really know who's ahead of who. You can't tell who's playing who, um, if Mobius has plans for Loki that Loki's not aware of and vice versa. You can never tell who's that step ahead and it just raises that question, who will come out on top at the end? And if their relationship is one big Mobius loop, that can also imply that it's an illusion and that it's not really real. And you know, in the end, eventually, one will betray the other. There's so much we're learning as we go through the show about Loki, about other characters, about the timeline, and which is why I think having a big portion of the episode take place in that library is just so fitting. Let's talk about that Pompeii scene. Um, that scene was really, <laughs> I had a tough time with it because I couldn't decide if I should laugh or feel really sad because obviously that's a real event in history. You saw Loki kind of making light of the situation, deciding, well, they're all gonna die anyway, so I, I can kind of do whatever I want. So, And the fact that the show kind of showed that in a humorous light even though it was a very dark moment, is a perfect reflection of the show. It's a humorous show, but the, the main storyline, the root of it, 
It's a pretty dis disturbing idea. It's a perfect representation of the TVA um, and what they're doing and, and making light of it in their propaganda, making it seem like it's something that is heroic, as Mobius said. You know, it, it may in fact not be, depending on how you look at it. Anyways, guys, awesome episode. Um, I'm gonna give it like, honestly, probably nine out of 10. I'm enjoying it so much. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. Keep the discussion going as always. I love reading the comments and responding to them. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for the next episode of Loki. See you soon.